Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here in West Hill on the Citadel server once again. We're going to pick up where we left off working on the crossroads out front. But first, I have to thank Turing79 for resubbing Tier 1, four months. Working on that sub badge. Thanks so much for the support, Turing. Good to see you. And good to see everyone else. All the regulars hanging out in chat. That good Friday feeling, it's, it's funny. I was writing the tweet that I was live and I started off with, with like, it's Friday. And I'm just like, it's self-employed and I work weekends. It, I, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Friday, Friday, the only thing Friday means for me is pizza and that's fine. But like work-wise, like I've got to work tomorrow morning. We've got the uh, quarterly hangout for the spawn chunks tomorrow with our patrons at 10 a.m. And then I've got um, a stream at one. So it's, yeah, it's just going to be a whole lot of, a whole lot of work this weekend, but I'm not complaining because it's, I mean, it's Minecraft and video games and community and like work is fun, but <laughs> it's still, it's still not a weekend like the traditional nine to fivers would have. Sir Abstract, hello. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. So yesterday we worked on this sign and uh, I'm leaving the signs kind of unedited loose at the moment because I'm not sure entirely how we're going to do those and I want to make sure that I'm happy with where that is as we finish the other parts of the crossroads and we added this little um oh that's that's why things look weird um we added this little uh textured footpath it kind of cuts behind it kind of makes sense wagons would take the road but people on foot might you know duck in here especially people going up this way they might decide to take a little bit of a shortcut that kind of thing we could also add a couple more paths here too you know like one across there i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes um i know that i want to keep this one i do like where it is uh i'm just not sure about texturing it yet in case we have to nudge it here or there because i think i want to put like a tree here or maybe a tree there and the other thing i need to think about is the street lamps and i think i'm gonna move that one over here and it might it might double as like a sign for the farm too so we might actually put it like right there so we'll see what that looks like as well and the other thing we want to work on is this section and this was temporarily a path that was going behind the sign this sign when we had it here but i decided to move it so i don't know what we're going to do here i feel like we could even take that path and run it behind the street lamp I don't know. This we can finish up though. So we'll start we'll start with this. It's a pretty straightforward texture job. Should be easy enough. Traditional nine to five work life, what's that? says Blast Jordan. Yeah. Oh, it's what haunts me when I get home. <laughs> I only did the nine to five thing very briefly. I worked in animation. That should be all we need, I think. We might want to bring some stones. Your brain did not suit nine to five. I wasn't much for it either. I don't mind the hard work for me. It's, I just didn't like working for other people. That was my big, big thing that I discovered. I much prefer, especially with creative work. It was difficult to like sit down and be creative when you were told to be creative. I mean, it was commercial animation, so it wasn't like I had, there was a plan in place. I had something that someone was telling me what to do, you know, what scene to do next that kind of thing
Now, I don't think... I don't know if I want to go a little muddy with this and do like a little drop, maybe. Oh yeah, sitting and, sitting and doing one thing all day mini packs. I agree, that's also not not something I enjoy. Something that I think is um, really good about working from home too is that like just even just being able to take up take a break for five minutes whenever you want. You know, you don't have to schedule it. You know, you don't have to worry about someone covering for you or any of that nonsense. Now this might be too much. Yeah. Uh, I keep on trying to use these mushroom blocks. They just never seem to work the way that I want. Hmm. Elad Jenkins resubbed at tier one for 14 months in a row now. Thanks so much, Elad. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Let's try this. Still not the best. Oh, maybe I can switch those. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spruce looks good. And then we can get in here with the moss as well. I don't know if we need flowering azalea out here. It might be worth adding a little bit. It does feel very bland. No one, welcome in. Interesting year's name. I'm sure it trips up a lot of people. Uh, flowering azalea. Barbare, hello, hello. Unstripped mangrove is in my inventory. It's just a little dark. We've tried it in a couple places. Hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, there is jungle in there. Okay. Maybe not down on the ground. That carpet is going to have to go back. And then maybe this one here. Yeah, that helps a little bit. I don't know if I want to cut this off. I think I want to leave it a little bit more open. Yeah. Yeah, sort of feels like maybe someplace someone would go to catch frogs or something. I don't know. Just a little, little something fun. And then we can also maybe break this up a little bit here too. Maybe we'll put this over here. Yeah, I think that works. Yep, fun little path. Doesn't look unfinished. Uh, doesn't grass drop with a silk touch tool? Yeah, it does. That's why I've got 14 grass. If you mean the um, this grass, no, I'm going to use shears. I 
mini packs you're throwing in a lot of flowering azalea. Yeah. I like it. I just, I feel like I want to use it sparingly. I don't want the front of this to be too floral. Very swampy, right? So this is feeling really empty and I, I'm just not sure what we can put here. I think one of the things we could do, like I said, also to keep this from looking too symmetrical. So I like this, but this feels just like a copy of it. So I'm, I'm wondering if I could curve it behind the lamp. So have it come down like this. I think that could be better. So we'll, we'll try that. And if I was coming out of here and I wanted to go west, this would be the path I would take. And I think it would come up about here. It would be a pretty straight line, I think. hard to curve that. Maybe start here. I feel like I have extra grass here somewhere. Yes, lots. Mama Melissa, hello. Been a minute. Hope you're doing well. That's not bad. Maybe I just need to continue it and make a copy of what I did over here. Two, one, two. And we can change this part of the road so it matches this a little bit better. I liked it better before. That feels pretty good. I just have to do the same thing on the other side.
Your build is near Cosmic or the Mantra is always near Flowers mini packs on Infinity Cove. Yeah, that, that would make sense. You would have to keep up with the Joneses, right? You. It would be a funny kind of troll if you decided to build some like black and white build, like no color whatsoever. <laughs> be kind of. That might be something I would do. That looks about right. We've got the advantage of the corner on, on this one. So it's a three by two, three by two, three by two, three by two. I think maybe that just needs to be open. That's better. Maybe. Nope, I got that backwards. That's a little bit better. Okay. So then I think what we'll do is we'll knock this back. It feels strange anyway. And this is why I don't bother to texture the roads until I'm 100% sure they're done. Because you end up tweaking and moving things like this. Yeah, I don't know if I was going for symmetry. I just wanted it to have a smoother curve. But in Minecraft, unfortunately, there's a certain... Um, when you get to a certain scale of curve, it ends up being a, a straight diagonal. Like, it ends up being a smooth octagon because you're just you're dealing with blocks, right? So if you deal with a big enough circle, you'll have this run of, like, steps of one that'll just be a lot in a row. But I think that's pretty good. I might want to move this lantern a little closer. Although I think one of the reasons it's back there is because it was probably overlapping. Yeah, so it would cover that up. So that I'll have to leave that there. Maybe I'll move it one block to the right here. That might be worth it. It just feels a little, a little close. Although I guess I could just move this. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So then we just have to do the same sort of texturing here. We just kind of invite people to walk this way. Oh, there's an idea too. Could do like a sunken bush. That creates a nice little border. And this is why we have a moss farm.
Cool. I think we're good to turn this into core start. Oh, nope. Do I have enough? Probably not. What's with the mossy area on the map? Mossy area on the map. Which one? Can you be more specific? Kiwi be good. Hello, hello. Mm, of course, dirt. Ooh, we are getting a little bit low. What do I not need right now? Inventory's full. Who had uh, <laughs> who had less than 35 minutes? I'm not using that very much. We'll put that away. Whoops. hard when you've only got like one span you kind of have to be careful what you do another trick i find is if you've got something directional like logs then placing it going in the direction of the path as opposed to going across the path like you'll notice like it doesn't it's not so bad on the diagonal because both kind of are the correct way to do it but i feel like you can go off of just a feeling but in this particular spot you're not going that way you're going this way right so that makes more sense to me anyway This might be good to have as mud. Yeah. Hack LaBerry. Thanks very much for the follow. Do I don't think I'm gonna need cobble, but you never know. I guess I'm done with the bushes for now too.
was just looking kind of odd on the mini map. Um, you mean you mean the swamp that I made? This? Because this is a handmade uh, marsh. We've got two. We've got this one, and then there's a smaller one over here. This was like the proof of concept. I remember talking about it on the spawn chunks. So this was the first first attempt at it. Knowing I wanted to make a bigger one, I wanted to figure out how much work it was to do it. Worked out pretty well, I think. The only thing I, I don't like about this one, and this is something we're going to be fixing, is that it's got too hard of an edge, right? Like it's just it just immediately goes marsh. And and this needs to have some sort of in between. But that's that's what we're doing here. Like so when you're doing the texture for this, one of the things we're actually doing is slowly creating points of interest. So we've got this path now, and now we've got a finished marsh and what will be a finished path. And then you can say, okay, well now I know what to do in between here to blend the two together. I think a lot of it is gonna be stuff like this taking certain, you know, just expanding the moss a little bit, maybe throwing in the odd bush, burying a bush here and there and bringing that up a little closer to here and eventually have it go down to be lower grass. I think that could be pretty straightforward. Yeah, filling the empty space. That this is the challenge of this crossroads. When like the crossroads check mark on my on my um on my book is definitely like figuring out how to transition a lot of this stuff. So here I'm also trying to funnel in some of the textures. So it feels natural. That's pretty good. I don't want to overdo it either. Like this feels pretty good. I think what it needs now is a little bit of moss along here. And then we can use the carpets as well. Out of moss. Rooster mug, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. And you can sort of start to space things out, you know? So then you're not stuck doing custom grass everywhere. So it starts with something quite heavily manipulated and then gradually just kind of gets less and less until you're just back to vanilla Minecraft stuff. Now here, I kind of wonder whether I should have maybe a little bit of dirt or something. Sort of like what we do along the um, the water. Uh, 
like just a little bit long here. Um, I don't know. We might be able to get dark with this. Nope. I feel like in a couple sections I want to get just a little bit thicker. Whoops. Uh, I'm not a big uh, April Fool's guy, so the, the potato update was fun for folks that are into it, but not my thing, so it didn't really matter too much. At least not to me. Now, I don't want to get into texturing the ed edge of the road just yet, because I'm really not sure about this whole circle thing. You can see it quite clearly on the map. The whole idea was just like, this is where the crosswords were meeting, and I created the circle because I wanted to have these smooth curves. And I don't know whether I've made the curves too smooth. I'm not sure whether it needs to be a more of a crossroads, like more of a cross. Because right now, it's especially down here, it's got a very, very heavy curve. The idea there is that a lot of people, I think, coming out of the front would potentially be going east, right? So that's why this is such a heavy chunk. So I'm not really sure. So I'll leave the road texture alone for now. If anything, I'll just add a couple little bits of andesite. I think that works. Almost like the someone cutting the, the corner too close is like push the dirt and stuff up. Kind of like what happens in the wintertime in Canada with plows. I wonder if this would be better as a dirt. Yeah. Anything that I need to get rid of here.
definitely got a lot of dirt. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks very much for the lurk and thanks for the bits and the support. Great to see you as always. Yeah, simple, but I think that's pretty effective. I'd like to put another bit of gravel in here somewhere. Maybe there. No, oh, that lines up. Hold on. The Silver Nightmare. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hello. Insane value. You think some of the potato blocks should be added to vanilla? What uh, what blocks did you like? I've only, I only saw a little bit of the the update, and I just it didn't really grab me. I know that Johnny was invited to play it, so I'll hear more about it. I'm sure on uh, on the spawn chunks on Monday. Maybe we can fit some gravel in here. I feel like I might need to knock that back a little bit. Feels a little close. I might want an extra layer. It's a little bit better. Whoops, that's the wrong, wrong block. Doesn't quite have the same pull as the other side. I 
again we have this corner in the road this is a straight section of the road so this is gonna be more challenging i think maybe we can just put gravel here and that'll help a little bit Sometimes these work and sometimes they don't. And in this case, it doesn't really work for me for mud. Try these maybe? Yeah, it's, it's a little dark. I think I'm gonna change these two. Forgot that I have to do the moss first. That's not too bad. Especially if we double down and use some carpets to kind of create an edge I find one of the harder things to do in Minecraft is create something that looks buried. not bad. I do like the moss that you can grab with no needing tools. It makes um, tweaking and texturing and stuff so much easier. That feels like a little bit too much maybe. Well, at least it won't rain for too long. We'll be able to sleep here in a second.
Yep, the weather in Minecraft is reflecting the weather in Nova Scotia these days. Mini packs, take care. Thanks so much for being here. You're probably gone, but uh, sorry, I missed the, the note. So, like, even that feels much better than it used to. It doesn't show up on the map because you can't see these grass bits on the map. But it's nice to have a little bit of something going on. Could also just try to add just one little bush in here. I find it gives you something to kind of spring off of. I really want bricks with dirt in it, like we have bricks with moss in it. Really, really want that. I've not yet found a great solution for um, somewhere between gray and brown. The closest you get is acacia. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's not terrible. It just, it's hard to unsee it as a log sometimes. Ah, oh, that's too much of a, too much in a row. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thanks ever so much. I was completely off track. I didn't wasn't looking at the time at all. Oh, that looks weird. That needs to be farther down. Oh, I did that thing where I lined them up. Whoops. Oh, I did the whole, whole thing there. That might not be the best place for that. Maybe we'll move that over by one block. So I find the directions of the buttons matter too. That kind of points you in this direction. So I feel like it's a good way to kind of push you into the path. Yeah. I think that's done. I don't see any things that are jumping out at me that say, fix me now. Not a huge fan of those right now, but th those could balance out when we put in some stuff in through here. So anyway, I do take a break once an hour, folks. If you're new to the channel, it is about that time now. So I'll be back in about five or six minutes and we'll just keep on keeping on in the crossroads. It's one of those things that's just it's a lot of tweaking, a lot of trial and error. So we'll, uh, we'll get there eventually. Be right back.
No friends hanging out after the darkness. That's good. All right, I think, I think that's this, this path is done. Maybe have a few too many blocks in a row in some places. Less is more, as they say. I've done a lot of pairs. That helps it feel a little bit more random. I feel like I have more textures at the other end too. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we can switch these. Man, I'm not sure what we did without pick block. I wonder if this would look better over here. Sometimes the constant switching of tools drives me a little bit crazy. either. Okay, I'm going to call that done. I think we're good. I think we're good. Now, this, I guess... We might end up pushing this back a little bit, but I'm going to wait until we do whatever's happening here. So I'm quite happy with this. I feel like this also looks good. Whoops, that's carpet. Lalthus, hello, welcome in. How would you feel if they added a pick tool hotkey that worked with 
pick block. I mean, they kind of already have it, right? Like one, two, three, right? If you want to do that. Um, what I want is a separate toolbar. So a really good example is satisfactory. And in satisfactory, you can switch your tools with, I want to say it's your mouse wheel, but then there's different, um, the building menu is different, but there's also a radial wheel. So you press down. So in the same way that E brings up your inventory, maybe, I mean, R is reload frames, but maybe R could be bring up a circular wheel. And then in that circular wheel, you could have, I don't know if I have enough room in my inventory to show you, but like you could have something like this, right? So you'd have like a wheel of tools. You'd hold down R and then just go up and then let go of R and you could just switch back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it would take all of these. So these four inventory slots or five, six, you know, all of this stuff could be in like a, a, a second string here maybe or maybe along here i feel like the book could be up with the crafting and then your tools could be along here so like one two three four five i mean i'd be happy with five slots i think that would work six would be ideal but five would be good and then you just you would you could have all of these be blocks you wouldn't have to worry about changing your tools it would just be i guess the problem there is that in order to use the tool you have to put it in your hand so then how do you like go from not hold, like how do you go from holding the tool to holding a block? You'd still have to do this, right? So like, I don't know. It's not, it's not quite that simple, but that's, that's how I would approach it. And I don't know whether that's something that's going to be done or not, but we'll, you know, I'd, I'd like them to do something about, you know, we talked about inventory solutions on the Spawn Chunks podcast. And I feel like, as many of our listeners have pointed out in emails, there's no one solution. It's a bunch of little things that need to change. And one of the things I think should change is how you manage your tools. And then that would also contribute to more space in the inventory, easier to use, that kind of thing. So that's one of, this, of the solutions, I think. One of the potential solutions, I should say. I mean, that looks pretty good. It feels a little straight, but like there's not much I can do. Um, because I had to go behind the street lamp. So that said, I think it might be time to switch gears a little bit and, uh, let's tackle this other street lamp. Also, I just want to clean inventory for a short bit. What am I going to need? I'm going to need car chiseled stuff. Those andesite slabs. Oh, we're going to need new fence gates. Did I not just make sticks? I guess I turned them all into um, armor stands. I think that's everything. Also, I like that hanging sign thing. We might want to grab one of those too. Maybe we'll grab a spruce one.
I just realized I left my glass of water in the other room. Crap. All right, so I think to keep it consistent, I think I want to put this on this side of the road. It would also be a nice um, kind of post for like whatever this is. You know, it's a road to a couple of farms. Um, it would be nice to have a bit of a signpost there. And I feel like the best place for it is going to be like here. Or maybe there. I think I like that better. And then we can just move the tree. Scaffolding. I guess the question is, is it going to be bright enough? Oh yeah, it should be fine. We can actually maybe even just customize the tree to be built around it. Did I bring the wrong slabs? No. And that's it for the basic street lamp. I don't think I want both. I mean, they're easy enough to move. I'm not too, too concerned about it. Yeah, you know, I kind of like the tree there. I wonder if we should just try and customize it and keep it a bit. Now, the tricky part is how do we add a sign here? Because they don't connect to walls. So... That's tough. They don't connect to fence posts. Don't connect to lanterns. I don't do that either. Guess we could try this. That's a little fancy. I guess I could lower it. I really wish these would connect. I wonder if, what if I just temporarily put a block up here? I wonder if that could pass as being hung if I change this to a spruce fence gate, maybe. Uh, fence gate. That's not bad. Like, that's it, it feels pretty close to being connected. We've certainly done done sketchy stuff like that before. I think that works. Do we want it to be spruce or do we want to go like all dark oak maybe? Can they hang on leaf blocks? Don't think so. Don't think so. I think the problem is anything transparent. So that's why they don't hang on. Um, that's why they don't hang on fence gates. 
Yeah. I mean, you can do this, right? And have it look like it's hanging from, from there. Now, that's not a bad idea either. Maybe the sign doesn't have to be on the street lamp. Maybe the sign could be on the tree. And then I would just move the tree over so that the sign, like if we move the tree over to here, Don't mind the multicolor. That's a little bit too dark. I feel like the spruce sign was okay. No, oh, we'll go with the fence gate for now. Nope, nothing connects. Yeah, I kind of feel like that would maybe be stuck on the tree instead. Let's try to customize this tree and see if we like the idea of moving it. I do like a little custom tree from time to time. So if I was going to do this, I wouldn't want the tree to be in line with this. I want it to be a little bit off to the side. So it would be like in this position here. So you'd still see the sign and I feel like we could still um, have the tree wrap around the, the um, street lamp a little bit. All of a sudden, the inventory is full again. I guess I don't need these right now. Those can go back. I don't mind this little kind of vanilla tree, so I'm going to try and copy it as best I can. So it looks like it's... How many blocks are we moving it over? Two? Was, I think it was five across the front. Yeah, that could still work. Only three blocks this way.
the spruce feels more like the farmer added it themselves. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, like it'd be difficult to nail your own wooden sign to a stone lamp. Whereas just sticking the sign up, you know, here makes sense. And I mean, we could also, I don't know if I want to lower it, maybe. You know, we do stuff like that. We could um, add a trapdoor. Do I have a trapdoor? Yeah. Do I have a trapdoor? I always have a trapdoor. So it can feel a little sturdier, you know? Now it feels a little straight, so we might want to do a little bit more work around here. Almost feels like it's been trimmed back a little bit. Maybe this would be better as a leaf. We could also make it look like it's hanging from a branch. Don't know about that though. That's pretty good. This might look a little bit more to scale. Yeah, that's not bad. And then we can maybe use the either a full block. Probably more like a slab. I think I like that better. I guess I can always pick out which box has got certain things in it by process of elimination. So if I know that the moss has got is the box that does not have a, a symbol on it, then that's good. But it's a little, uh, I would prefer to have it just marked. I still haven't decided if I'm going to add that data pack or not. The one that the hermits have that they can rename and retexture stuff. Some good layers like that. I wonder, obviously not polished, but I wonder if a stone would look good there. No, it's a little bit too much like the like the lamppost. 
Also, how are we doing for light? Definitely covers the road. I don't know about that. Maybe this could be better over here. Nope. Yeah, I like that better. And did I finish the top of this? I think I did. Yeah. Now, I might be able to help sell the tree being so close to the lamppost by changing up that wall at the top here. Shovel. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Oh, that probably needs to be Azalea. Maybe that too. I think I like that better, and we'll do this down here. There we go. Nice. Inventory is painful.
CBK, hello, welcome in. And sorry, Lucas, I did not catch the follow. Appreciate it. Well, that worked out quite well. I think that that's a nice little, little junction. Even looks cute on the map. I don't know what those farms are going to be. That might be kind of fun to, to think about too. So this road goes to both, I guess. Yeah, there'd probably be a path up to this one. Although, no, wait a minute, that's a lie. This guy's got his own driveway. So this guy's got his own bit, which means that this road is a connector. Right. And then this guy's got his own. I guess I gotta figure out how this how this connects. I don't think I want to put it on the main road. I think I'm standing right where I want it to go. I feel like it probably should go here. Go around the pond. Whoops. Something like that. I think that makes sense. I mean, it's going to change depending on where the door is, of course. We'll tweak that, but I think that that's a good way to think about what might be coming down there. Yeah, I mean, obviously that needs to be better. I don't know, maybe, maybe it would be better to have it run down that way. That make, make, might make more sense. Coming at it this way, it might be better to walk this way and then go up. Yeah, that might be more sensical. Then this could be a giant field of something. I mean, we could have both. It doesn't have to be one or the other. We could have both. That's true, too. So I haven't really decided what I want to plant in these farms just yet, but I think this big one, because it's such a major view coming in right we're gonna have like three or four tiers one two three four five six tiers of whatever's on here and i feel like it would be really fun if it was a too high flower because then you're really gonna kind of obscure what's happening up here or at the very least have it be two tall flowers on the bottom three levels and then the top tier maybe we'll switch it out but i feel like it would be nice to have something there and i don't know whether i want to do like flower flowers or if I want to do like pitcher plants. There's definitely going to be flowers on the back over here because this they're they're not going to stay there, but there's a bunch of bee farm uh, beehives over here. So there's going to be some sort of apiary over this way for fun. 
it would be good to maybe mix some of these around too. Like I wouldn't mind putting some, um, a small, I think we've got bees over there. I know there's honey in these, but I don't know whether these guys actually have. I don't hear anything. Oh, just the dripping. The bees probably have all migrated over to this area. So once I move those, maybe we'll end up with some bees over here. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Cosmic. The pitcher plants are definitely a unique a unique color. I do I do feel like the one thing I like about them is that they're not super loud. So it's not going to be rose bushes. We've we've already got those rose bushes obviously ha hanging out over at at the inn. So I don't want to do more red. So I'm stuck with what's left. Sunflowers don't face the right way all the time, so I don't want to do those. Um, I feel like a, a patch of sunflowers somewhere would be cool. So, like, that's cool looking, but maybe not on this here. Maybe, like, a patch of sunflowers in that area would be nice. Because they kind of line up in rows. Um, but that leaves peony, lilacs. Uh, that's it, right? So it's peony, lilacs, or pitch plants. Or I do custom, you know, two tall bush things that's just a lot of green so i'm not crazy about that either and i don't want to cover it in cherry bushes a lot of pink too right and then berry bushes are too uh taiga biome minty like they're not the right color Tree feels a little funny. Maybe we can add another branch. This might be just fine on, no, on its own, just like that. I wonder if I can get in there and instead of having a full block here, I could do like slab on bottom and a trapdoor and you're not gonna be able to see that it's a trapdoor. I just want to make it look like a branch. I think that's what we need is just a little bit more on top there. Oh, 
Nope, not there. And then just one more bit up top. So I think what we can do now, uh, I, I need to repair a bunch of stuff and it would be nice to kind of walk through the area and just kind of like take in what we've been doing. I do still have a few more minutes and that means that we can repair this and be in good shape for tomorrow. And then that gives me a little bit more chance to chat with you folks too. Uh, that goes there. I really wish we could do something with the hanging signs with just the top part of it. Like there's so much potential for hanging signs to be used as something else but then sometimes the way that they hang kind of gives them away and plus i feel like there's a couple new people here and they would probably have a lot of fun seeing bits of the server that they've not seen before He's repairing. No mending on that. I'll just leave all that in the ender chest. Good for rockets and food. And I don't think I was low on anything. Good for moss. Coarse dirt is something that we make anyway. Our gravel stores are good. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'll bring that with me just in case. as well this should be all we need hobos gone hello hello how much planning do you do in creative none zero that's why this takes so long here and live on stream i share the entire creative process the only time i've messed around in creative is for uh testing out mods or data packs to make sure that they're working or testing out a new one to see if i want to add it or uh redstone stuff every now and again i'm still pretty good at doing redstone live i'm i'm pretty pretty okay with that yeah i like this we'll we'll add a path off that way too but i'm quite happy with the way that this turned out Might push this back just a little bit, but we'll worry about that later when we work on the road. This is a nice little bit that we added yesterday. And now we've got this cool little farm, farm sign. I'll just change that. We'll worry about that later. Yeah, that works. Does anybody know if these leaves happen to fall when I'm not using shaders? I feel like they do. I just don't notice them. They're very easy to spot with shaders on, but not so much when it's not rolling. Yeah, I like I like the layers here. I think that's going to work well, especially with that wall behind it when we finish that up. Overlaps the house. Good stuff. I guess I'm going to tear that down eventually, but we'll have to figure out where it's going to go. Nice. All right, let's go repair some tools. Now on the right-hand side here, I still don't know what's going to go in there. 
but all all the decor here on the right i feel looks pretty good but you can see how we need to balance it out with a farm and how i don't want the farm to be too green because my potato texture is very green they do fall when you don't have shaders on okay cool i thought they did i just i think they're just easier to spot and they don't fall from spruce trees uh spruce trees and i want to say mangrove or acacia there's one of the there's a couple of leaf blocks that are designated as will not fall from those so which makes sense because like pine needles you wouldn't see them falling so often as obviously as you know because really they only fall if they're dead right because um carnivorous trees don't shed pine cones that would be kind of funny to have like that would be a good way for Minecraft to add some life to... That's a very strange looking tree. Um, some life to taiga would be to add dropping pine cones. And they could also be... It could be a little spooky. Like if you're early game walking through a taiga forest and a pine cone drops and it makes a noise like a creeper footstep, like that would be... You'd be on high alert, right? So it's been a while since I've explained this, but if anybody here is brand new, uh, we have command blocks that we use on the server to teleport great distances. And the reason for that is so the medieval area, which is this entire continent here, uh, is 10,000 blocks away from anybody that might want to build a skyscraper or anything like that. So we don't have to worry about our builds um, overlapping one another. And we use these little spots, like a nice little safe haven when you arrive to teleport back and forth. So there's a command block underneath there. And it just sends me back here and it's as if i come out of this quote unquote portal same thing button just takes you back and so we've got portals for the medieval area there's another portal for the medieval area over here somewhere because it's so big there's two two access points this one is really fun actually it takes you to a camp i think i finished the build i can't remember let's find out yeah so like you're inside a tent just a little just a little safe haven when you arrive and so if you look here's where we are way over here compared to where Westall is so it's a little bit faster to get around in that way and then to go back same thing button on the floor spits you out and then the other portal is over there and that's to the 118 area and I think that's it I think that bridge just goes to the same spot. I don't know if there's more. I think that's the bridge to the 118 area. We did that when the um, the update first hit, the Caves and Cliffs update. And there's one more portal. I won't go through it, but there's one more portal down here. And that goes to the modern city. So that goes, I can probably find it on the map, actually. That goes all the way down here, where it's like skyscrapers and roads and all that stuff. So... Uh, and this is the middle of the world or center of the world or at least on the surface we could go in the center down below too at like y0 hobo skunk says i can't play without the map of the minimap anymore i know right it just makes minecraft feel like a game that was made in 2020 right 2020s or heck, <laughs> the 2010s. I guess, when did Minecraft come out? I guess it was close to the 2010s. So it feels more like a modern game with the... Uh... Oh, I didn't bring my bow. Yes, it did. Hold on. Feels more like a modern game with the, uh, the map, for sure. MDog95! Finishing up the stream with a 31 month celebration of subscribing at tier one. Thank you ever so much. Looks like there might have been a gas blast here somewhere. So, this is our gold farm. It's in the lava lake as opposed to on top of 
of the world. And there's a lot of slabbing that's gone on. So it's pretty spawn proof around here. You can see on the map. Uh, oh, no, you're right. This doesn't work anymore. I'm not sure how to fix this. Is it this maybe? No. I thought there was a way to, to show. Because it's showing the nether ceiling, I think. And that's what's in the way. If anybody knows how to... This is Zero's minimap. If anybody knows how to zoom it in so I can see my actual nether. That would be great. Icon in the bottom left lets you change the height of the map. Icon in the bottom left. Bottom left. Dimension. Cave mode. Map switching options. Is it cave mode? Ah, here we go. Top Y. I think it's like 90 is the common. Nope. I think you need to go a little bit lower. What's Lava Lake level? That's like 60 something. Even farther, it looks like. Alright, there we go. There's a better look. You can see the perimeter. Although it's still not showing the lava lake, which is weird. You can set it to off. Oh, uh, let's try that. Auto. 19. Layered full. Oh, that, there we go. That's what I'm used to seeing. That's much better. I don't mind that. That's... That's a little bit more indicative of all the work that we've done in the nether, right? So it's easier to see your tunnels and move around. Perfect. Okay, well, that's that's clear. You can kind of see now where we've got the, the slabs. These are probably ceiling tunnels up there that have not been lit up or anything. Thanks, Hobo Skunk. Appreciate that. Zero is always updating the map, and I'm always lost. Really looking forward to getting a crafter down here and also maybe adding some clerics for some redstone. Because we've got, we're full up on um, rotten flesh. Can I do it with just one? Sure can. Fix that. Fix that. Cool. Well, folks, that's where I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to head off to the gym and uh, get the rest of my Friday on the go. But uh, tune in tomorrow, 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours now. Is it? No. Is it back to four hours? Somebody let me know. Uh, either way, 1 o'clock Atlantic time. That's 12 Eastern in the U.S., we're also going to be doing the Spawn Chunk Hangout tomorrow. So if you're a Spawn Chunk patron, then you can check that out at 10 a.m. Atlantic. We'll be talking to our patrons about the um, the state of the, the podcast, downloads, all that kind of stuff. And uh, big thanks to Cosmic Dancer, Sweet Sandy, uh, Elkhorn, anybody else that was modding today. I really appreciate it. I know Mini Packs are lurking in the background as well. Thank you for the bits and the support and the subs. If you used a sub or if you're new, then you can use a tier one sub, a prime sub, or join the Patreon page to join the Discord. And that's where we hang out with everybody in between streams. You also get access to things like live recordings of the Citadel Cafe podcast, which happened on Wednesday night. And so you can check that out. That'll be edited and out soon, I hope. That's the plan. Uh, that was a fun conversation with Steven. Actually, we talked about Dune 2, no spoilers. We talked about uh, Masters of the Air, no spoilers. And well, we didn't spoil anything. 
Uh, we also talked about Oppenheimer and three body problems. So lots of really cool stuff to talk about. So uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. And in the meantime, I'm going to pass you along to Tadpole Milk. I think you will have a good time. The best chuckle on Twitch, as I like to say. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now. Thanks, folks.